Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be updating you guys on the hermit crabs and just how they're doing basically. And I also want to share with you the comparison of how small they were when I first got them and how big they've gotten after five years of having them. So they've definitely grown a lot, some of them more than others. I also want to share a quick old video I found of when I, I think, maybe first saw hermit crabs at the pet store. I was filming because I was getting my female beta sorority that day, or was trying to, and I was looking at the other animals, and when I saw the crabs, apparently I didn't either know what they were called or remembered what they were called, so I just called them thingamajigs. <laughs> and it was a year after that video that I actually got hermit crabs. By then I knew what they were called, and I definitely knew more about them and how to care for them, and I also knew that the painted shells were bad, so I made sure not to buy the painted shell ones, even though I was fascinated with them in the video. So anyways, here's the video. <gasps> it's a thingy majiggy that's moving! Hey, they put tattoos and colored it. So I don't have the original footage of when I first got the hermit crabs. I only have the edited version, and back then I used an editor on my old phone and somehow it made the footage all choppy so sorry if that's a bit annoying but it's the only footage I have of the crabs when they were just recently bought so in the video I actually tried to make it look like I got all five crabs at the same time truth is I first got three but one of them died the first night so then the next day I returned him and got three new ones one of them was free of course because I returned the dead one so the next day when I had all five I decided to put them all in this one Petco box and call it a hermit crab patch haul. So this hermit crab is Shelly when I first got her and when I show you how big she is today, you can definitely see how much she's grown. So here she is today, quite a bit bigger as you can see. <laughs> and this next one is Cupcake. She was the smallest crab I had and she was like really, really tiny. I mean, her shell was already tiny, but the crab itself was super tiny. But here she is today, and she's like five times bigger. She's basically the size of Shelly now, so she's definitely grown the most. I'm pretty sure I explained their names in my Meet My Hermit Crabs video that is somewhere on the channel. So today I'm not going to explain why I chose their names, but anyways, the next crab is coconut. This was coconut, and I didn't know what gender these crabs were at the time, so I just went with how they looked and named them. So yeah, this was coconut, and this is coconut today. She is the largest crab out of all of them, and always was from the start. So yeah, that's coconut. The next crab here is mango. He was the shyest crab rarely ever came out of his shell. He was also pretty orange. He was definitely a hermit. So this is Mango today. He is the only boy and he hasn't grown very much in the last five years, probably mainly due to his shyness in the past, but he still doesn't really eat very much or molt, but he is happy and healthy. And the final one that didn't want to come out of the box is Thea, who used to be Thea. She looked much different back then, because she wasn't as purple as she is today. And she was the fastest out of all the crabs. And so that's why I ended up doing a hermit crab race, making sure that she won. <laughs> Even though in the video, it didn't really look like she won. The editing was really bad. It was actually Coconut that won, but I said that Thea won anyways, because I really wanted her to win since she was the fastest crab. And I don't know why I put Mango in that race, because he was obviously not going to move at all. But anyway, this is Thea today. Her color is completely different, as you can see. She's completely purple instead of just her big claw being purple. She is still the fastest crab, and has gotten quite a bit bigger. And she also makes five, so that's all the crabs and what they look like today compared to their past selves. These guys should be getting bigger still, because technically they're supposed to get almost as big as my hand, or the palm of my hand. So I think they all, especially Mango, still has a long way to go. And I've only had them for five years, so they've most likely still got a lot of years left.
I do plan to upgrade them in the future to a bigger tank because they are definitely outgrowing this one fast and I would really like to get them a taller tank. I'm considering the 36 by 18 by 36 inch Exoterra. A new one would be a lot of money so it would be nice to find one on like Craigslist or something but I doubt one will ever show up. A taller tank would also give me the ability to put more climbing stuff in there for them so they can climb higher and hopefully that will keep Coconut from constantly wanting to escape. <laughs> but for now they are still pretty content in this cage. It's only Coconut that really tries to escape, although recently I found Shelly had escaped the cage. She's the first crab to actually be able to do that. I just walked into my room and saw her sitting there on the floor. <laughs> the reason the lid was open enough for her to come out was because the tank was a bit too humid, so yep, she decided to take advantage of that, which is weird because she never tries to escape. And their favorite food is carrots. They absolutely love carrots. In all this time that I've had them, I've never bought them hermit crab food. I've just given them what I've found in the fridge, or given them what the hamster has, and they've been perfectly okay with that. I make sure to give them protein and vegetable and fruit, but when I can't find anything, I just give them dry food that is for the hamster, but they can have it too. So. I also give them millet spray sometimes, so they like that. Anyway, that's it for the video, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and feel free to comment down below if you have any hermit crabs, and how long you've had them, what their names are, and yeah, thanks again for watching. Bye!